Okay, I want to do a couple more examples with you of rewriting before we integrate. So using rewriting as a technique to help us integrate, in fact. So here we have an in integral we're trying to find. And I'm again going to break up this fraction. So this will be t squared over t to the fourth plus 3t divided by t to the... Oh, I completely forgot the integral. Sorry, let me back up and write that in. Uh, minus 2 divided by t to the fourth dt. And, and now I'm going to do uh, basically the same, same um, idea as we did in the first video where we learned to rewrite. We're just going to bring, uh, simplify these, these exponents. So this is going to be t squared times t to the negative fourth plus 3t times t to the negative fourth minus 2 times t to the negative fourth. If you can do this simplification uh, in your head or easier by just knowing that, okay, uh, this will go away and this will become a 2, so you'll have... Uh, a 2 in the denominator, that's fine. But anyways, uh, let's just continue the way we've done it so far. We multiply, apply base, uh, when we multiply bases, we add exponents. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Same thing here. Uh, this is an implied 1. So 1 minus 4 is minus 3. And then we just have 2d to the minus 4th. Dt. Okay, and now we've gotten to a point where we are ready to integrate. Okay, so t uh, to the negative 2, so we, we add 1 to the exponent, so that's going to be t to the negative 1, and then we divide by that new exponent, so negative 1, uh, plus 3, 3, negative 3 plus 1, of course, is negative 2. And again, we're going to divide by that uh, new exponent, negative 2. And then we have this minus 2. So uh, negative 4 plus 1, of course, is negative 3. And again, we're going to divide by that new exponent. So I don't know why I put the integral symbol here. Sorry for that. And of course, this will be plus C. And now we can, can simplify. So t to the negative 1. So we have negative t to the negative 1. So that's just negative 1 over t. So the, this whole thing is negative. Maybe I'll write the negative out front. So it's just negative 1 over t. Uh, we have a negative 2 in the denominator. So that's also going to be negative. And this will just be 3 over 2t. Oops, sorry. Let me let me do it this way. 3 halves times 1 over t squared. No, I don't like it that way. <laughs> Jeez, this video is turning into a disaster. Sorry. So this negative sign comes out front. We have a 3 in the numerator. This t to the negative 2 goes to the denominator. So there's a 2 there already. And then we have t squared. Okay, and then we have a negative negative, so this is plus 2 thirds t cubed, all plus c. Okay, so I think this is, is uh, simplified enough, and let's do one more example. So this is, this is uh, our, our answer, our solution for this problem. Let's do one more example here. So let's do the integral of tangent squared x plus 1 dx. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Well, let's rewrite. What's tangent squared plus 1? And that is a trig identity. So trig identities, along with trig derivatives, really need to be known to be able to, to do these integrals. 
So tangent squared plus 1 is the same thing as secant squared. That's just a basic trig identity. And now what function's derivative is secant squared? When you take the derivative of what, you get secant squared. Well, it's simply just tangent. Tangent x plus c. Okay, so uh, if you get something that looks complicated, try rewriting it, try simplifying it, um, try your trig identities, and, and definitely memorize your trig derivatives. Okay, see you in the next video.